Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. It is several months since we, not several, but it's been a while since we built the golf cart. But I figured I would just come in and chitter chat with you really quick on how I got it. So we were at the fall festival and the hubby called me and asked me where I was at. And I was like, I'm right here at the booth. And he's like, are you at your booth? And I was like, I guess I'm at the booth. And he goes, okay, peek your head out. And I was like, what? Okay. So I picked my head out at the booth and he came rolling down the street with the golf cart on the back of the truck or trailer trailer, trailer on the back of the trailer. And it didn't have the hood on it or not the hood, but it didn't have the top, the roof on it or anything. And then when I saw it, it ran and everything. And I was like, cool, you know, new project. And then one morning he was at work taking a break and then called me and in that phone call we literally came up with the whole plan to turn the golf cart into a farm truck <laughs> and that is what the entire video is going to be about how my little image that I drew while talking to him on the phone asking him if we could do certain things and him telling me yes or no or how we could do it and I factored that into the drawing all of that came to be what it is now which is a magical lovely thing I have yet to put our logo on it but I mean we did the whole freaking thing in a matter of days and I just wanted to enjoy it after that I'll get to it eventually but um, so whatever you're gonna watch is all of the stuff building up to it being what it is now all right everybody well here's the easy go project She's nice, but she's not pretty. We got a little stockpile of parts that uh, that I ordered. Just about everything that I got came from uh, came off of Amazon, so fairly easy to find everything that we need for it. It already had a windshield and a seat. Uh, don't mind my bumper; that's another project for my truck. But as far as parts go. I ordered, we got single stage paint, black gloss paint, and then I bought some silver flakes to go in the paint because I want it to look nice. The cart doesn't have headlights. It has brake lights, but no headlights. So I'm gonna, I'm thinking about mounting this one on the front and cutting a hole for it. And then I'm gonna mount these two on the back so you have light in the rear whenever you're backing up and, and whatnot. These here are gonna be the front and the rear shocks, rear view mirror and side mirrors that mount on the, on the little pillars on the side. Here we got a set of fender flares. It'll, it'll kind of stick out like right there on the plastic above the tire, make it kind of look more wide. The reason we did that is because we got these big old boys here that are going to go on. So it's going to look a whole lot better and a lot more beefier when you put these tires on there. As far as the seat goes, we went with a saddle leather color. This is actually the part that you're looking at there is actually the the back of it, the the part that you'll see exposed is gonna be more like a leather look, not like a suede. Should look nice. These are gonna be the front and the rear leaf springs for the suspension. When I was checking over the cart and looking at all the suspension parts, it looked pretty crappy. This here is gonna be a lift kit drop axle five inch lift kit that uh it's for the front and the rear this box here is gonna be the new nice looking floor mat it's gonna be this rubber piece here that goes all the way around here and it's got a nice border on it and everything make it look good i got more over here new brakes this these are the new outers for the brakes the brake runs along that inside right there 
I didn't really need these new, but I got them just because if I'm going to do it, I might as well get the whole thing and do it right. The hinges on the seat were broken, so I ordered a new set of those. These are new bushings for the uh, for the leaf springs. I wasn't sure if the new leaf springs were going to come with them, so I purchased these just in case if they did, if they did not. And this back back here, all this stuff here is going to come out. I'm going to take it all off. We're going to cut it out, and we're going to make it all nice. We have big, big plans for this. All the batteries. I definitely gonna have to take a picture of that because just in case if I take anything apart here I know how to put it all back together and whatnot I'd, I've never worked on a golf cart before so this is gonna be my first time here I mean the people that had it before me they just left trash everywhere this thing was not that well taken care of so we're gonna make her pretty we got the time lapse running over there and I'm gonna get to work. Next time you see it, it'll, she's gonna look a little different. Okay, so took off the back part that holds the roof took off the bed on the back somebody had a bright idea where the arms that were on the sides here were welded on so they're cut off cleaned it up cleaned it up around there because the metal here that goes around is all still really good metal but the center part here is what's eaten all up. And that's what we're gonna remove. So the next step is, you're gonna see this and it'll be different. All right, and if you're curious what I'm doing here, this metal piece was welded on like this here and then it has a gap and then welded and then a gap. So I'm just going around and I'm cutting all the welded areas all the way around. That way, once I cut them all, I should be able essentially to hit the middle piece and knock it out, hopefully. I cannot stress enough to not let these time lapses fool you because he literally spent from morning to night each day out there gutting this on his own. It is not a simple process to clean it all the way down. All right, I'm coming back at y'all guys. I got a lot more done than I thought I'd get done for sure. I finished taking off the back. That's the back now. I grinded it all down, took all the paint off of it, took the big piece of metal that was in the center out. That's it all chewed up looking over there. That's the backrest. This thing is filthy and dirty and I can't wait to wash it and clean it up and make it look all good. While I was ripping into it to get to some of the stuff that I was doing, I had to rip the floor out. so. I went ahead and took the floor out all right here. That's the floor there. And what y'all were seeing at the very beginning has the whole front hood off. And there's the hood there. I had to drill out a couple of rivets that were right here all the way across. And down on the bottom here, there was a couple of screws that were just seized up. Couldn't get them out. Had to drill them out as well. And there was another rivet that was right here that I had to drill out to be able to get the front off as well. So 
the next thing on my list would, is probably gonna, I'm gonna drill the rest of these rivets that run across the front here. And then once I drill those out, I may be able to take the whole shell in the back off, which is something I wanna get done today. Hopefully I can do it real quick and get into that. But once that comes off, then I'm getting into the whole suspension area and adding the lift kit and getting into that. So that'll be great. All right, this is where we're at at the end of the night. Had to cut the wires off for the lights that were up under there and the horn, as well as the tail lights to get everything off, but they were wired up pretty janky anyway. So something I needed to fix. I got my lift kit all ready and, and all in order and whatnot to go ahead and put it on tomorrow. Got my tires all lined up with my fender flares. That's all gonna go on tomorrow, I believe, depending on how quickly things go together. We just gotta get these two tires off, remove these two bolts here, as well as the leaf springs in the middle, and then we can pull the whole front suspension area off, and then that's where that big old beast will go right there in the middle. And then in the back, it's actually pretty simple. It's just removing the two leaf springs here, putting a, uh, what do they call it? A, it's like a little lift plate where pretty much it just raises the axle up on top of the, the leaf spring. And there's new, new shocks that I got as well. And they're over there, front and back. Hopefully I got the right shocks with this lift hopefully they work <laughs> I, I wasn't thinking about that till just now when i said it the batteries here i'll just take off these two negative and positive posts to take them off the power from the golf cart and go ahead and pressure wash it and clean it up tomorrow and get it ready to get the lift on and and get everything else put on it it'll it should be pretty good I got everything pretty much prepped, oiled down. All the all the uh, nuts and bolts are oiled up real good. That way, uh, that way tomorrow, whenever I go to take everything off, it doesn't have to doesn't fight with me too much, which will be great. But we got a lot of parts here, lots and lots of parts. There's parts everywhere. There's all the boxes. <laughs> this will be fun. As soon as I'm done with this golf cart, my, my shop will look a whole lot better. Cause I got that to do. I got a bumper to put on. I got a hitch to put on my truck and steps for my mother-in-law so she can get into the suburban easier. Got a, got a lot of stuff to do and not enough time in a day. He's my boy. He's my big boy. Diesel, come sit. Hey, he's my boy. Good boy, good boy. All right, everybody. So, it's nighttime. I started on this a long time ago. <laughs> but, I got a lot done. It gave me a headache. I got a little confused on some U-bolts and I wasn't sure completely which ones went where and and then I finally figured it out and I got it put on, put the lift, got the lift put on. Okay. Um, Amazon brakes, not the best. I actually had to trim the edges. Here's the brakes here, right here. And on the other end, I actually had to trim them down because I guess they kind of send people like universal brakes that are supposed to work for all the different carts and it was just a tad too long on either end and every time i put it together and tried to get the the uh, wheel hub part back on or the drum part of the brake on it wouldn't go so a couple of trials and errors and finally i figured out what was the issue was trimmed them down got them both on 
adjusted the brakes some, has a little wheel in there. It's a uh, drum brake, so it's the old style. It's a little bit pain in the butt style, but they work, they work good. And they last long too. Um, got the new tires on. Got the new leaf springs on. Got the new shocks on. These are the U-bolts here that I got put on with the new uh, lift bracket. Got the motor all cleaned up. It's not covered in dirt anymore. I'm pretty sure from the videos earlier to now, I'm pretty sure y'all see a big difference. Cleaned up the area by the motors. I wanna get some electrical cleaner spray to spray inside here. When, I, when you take the cover off, it has a, it's the forward reverse mechanism. I wanna, wanna clean it up real good and make sure it's, that way it works properly and whatnot. I think when I left off, I was building the battery tray. So I got this one all welded on. I welded on the bracket in the middle. And then I figured, let me throw a little bit extra stability in there and strength so i put the expanded metal on the bottom so that way the batteries will sit on that it'll hold a little bit more weight i want to worry about things breaking later on it should be a little bit better and last longer tomorrow this is my mission it's gonna get the new lift on it and the other tires over there put on it's looking good see a big difference on how high the back actually is now. Huge difference. And the front is gonna actually be level in line with that. So whenever that gets lifted up, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty big. It's gonna be cool. So next day, I got the front jacked up. Got all my tools out. Cause I swear there's a different size bolt and nut for every single thing that you do on these things. Some things were a pain in the butt on here as I started. I started to do the uh, front lift, like I said I was gonna do. The old shocks that were on here were all rusted. There you go. All rusted, so that's how you get them off. They had to be cut. So, had to cut them off, both sides. And then the fun part was Removing this part, this is your front axle, I guess they'd call it on these. So I removed that. Has two castle nuts on either end with a with a quarter pin retaining it. It's a good thing that the new kit came with this because this thing, these are, these are really rusted right here in these areas. So I'm glad to uh, be removing that. The new one is really nice. I got it on, it's all, in and bolt it on it's fairly easy i mean actually mine was a little bit more in depth due to the fact that i replaced both leaf springs on the front as well so that way everything on here was pretty much new i don't want to have to deal with anything later so you take off these three bolts here there's three bolts over here as well holding that leaf spring and then you remove the steering and then on my particular one, we had to remove the three bolts as well over here and over here on each side to pull the leaf springs out, put the new leaf springs in, replace them exactly how they came out, and then replace these three nuts here and bolts and nuts here and bolts and nuts here, and it holds it in place. And that allows you to finish off by reattaching the uh, steering gear and then you drop the bolt in here to hold on the new, uh, I guess the outer, the wheel hub, maybe is what they call it, maybe. Cause you got another one on this side. I am about to go, about to go. Oh, and I also did the shocks, new shocks already in, bolted on. But I am about to go and get a new drag link for the front. Depending on what's cheaper, I may keep the drag link and then just get new New in, new uh, new tie rod ends or new drag rod, drag link ends on both sides because the the uh, bushing on here on both sides is 
is completely blown out. So when those blow out and they get dirt in them, they, they tend to rust on the inside and they're not very good anymore. So I may just get two new ends, keep the same bar in the middle, and I'm gonna put that on when I get back because I had to go there anyway because I'm going to get new batteries for this cart, which is gonna be pretty expensive. But if you're gonna replace pretty much everything on the cart and have it new, might as well do it right. But she's coming along, she's looking good. Go get those tie rod ends, put them on, put these new wheels on, then I'm onto the body. Sand it, prime it, prep it for paint, and shoot, this baby will go back together. I'm ready, it's gonna be nice. Okay, so I want, I don't want black accents and I don't want gold. I want brass, but there's no brass. So I'm thinking, so it's a pain in our ass. So I'm thinking these will work. They're kind of a blend between a silver and a gold. And once they get weathered, they'll look okay. And then for the hinges, these that have a very similar color. Cute. Well, I, was, I wanted to show the picture of the plans, but I don't have it. And I can't show my phone, the picture from my phone. So, kind of point out what was going where. So I do have to warn you guys, if you decide to take on a golf cart refurbish project, you have to be 100% committed. We were out here every day from morning, like get your coffee and go outside to well after the boys were in bed and everything. Like it is a all day commitment, lots of work, a lot of mess, but it's totally worth it to invest the time than pay full price. One of the not so fun parts about our project though is that it was super cold and rainy days. It was horrible. So at this point, the hubby is putting together the frame for the truck bed using some scrap metal along with the frame that it came with, and I am sanding down the body of the golf cart. I am trying to get all the scuffs and scratches out as much as I can. The hubby removes all the lights and pieces that we don't need, and then we go through and fill it all with Bondo and let that set. Meanwhile, while that's setting, we work on the truck bed. And my favorite thing to do with metals whenever you're using something that is going to be outdoor is to line it with bed liner because it coats the metal so well that you will avoid rusting and it will keep it nice and super, super dark black. Of course, we had to burn the wood and give it our signature burnt wood look. I absolutely love this and I just thought it wouldn't be a proper truck bed if it didn't have that wood. So it's it coming together very nicely. Hey guys, so welcome to the Bates Garage Workshop place. We have been working on the golf cart. The hubby has totally broken down this thing and I'm pretty sure by now we have plenty of content to show you guys kind of like the before and the process during but i'm going to give you a little bit of an update as to what we've done up to this point today together because i finally came out to help him because this is what i can help with so this is i don't know i want to say her but i feel like it's a him her always her yeah but this is like it's a her i don't know 
I feel like it's a him. I don't know yet until it's in place. Definitely. Then I'll know. Because you can't say, hey, I'm going to go out and ride him. Yeah, you can't say that. <laughs> this is what it looks like. We did a little bit of coating on this metal frame here with the bed liner as well, just to add some extra protection. This is the, what is this for, babe? Is this the front That's plate? the front, like they, they call them, they call it a bumper. Okay, so this is that. It's coated also with bed liner. And then here is my farm truck truck bed absolutely adorable so we took the same boards that we always put on all of our furniture and that we use for so many other kinds of projects and we burned it the hubby cut it down laid all the strips in measured the sides what was this bar from just scrap metal that i had scrap metal cut it down drilled some holes in there i got a little bit of footage of that Welded. welded it on cleaned it up and then coated the frame with bed liner as well. And then we wanted to do like a little kind of classic truck. Yeah, kind of like a classic edge here. So it's long and then short. When you burn it, it pulls that grain beautifully. And this wood actually came from a friend's wow. barn area where he keeps his horse. So that was awesome because it was free. And that grain is just so gorgeous. Of course, our signature burnt wood look had to go on this golf cart. So what we still have to do is add the hinges and the little tailgate. It's just going to be one piece of wood that goes here in the front to hold stuff in. Because, you know, I'd be loading up all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Any little tailgate. Anyway, so there's that. It is a huge truck bed. And it actually didn't look this big i think the wood helps it and then the sides help it make it look bigger too because now it can carry things what you say <laughs> <laughs> i said the wood helps it. <laughs> so there is that and then this we sanded it down and put some bondo Bando. and sanded it down again and my ryobi sander finally could put it was actually a year old because I got it around my birthday. Sure, well, probably two years old at least. Two years old? Been here for three years. You've been yeah, but I thought before. I got that sander for my birthday. No. For your birthday, I think you got the, the, glue the big gun. old tool kit. You got the glue gun. And you got the, all the, the saws and all that stuff, the big yeah. ones. So we filled in all of the, not all, but most of the deep scratches and then sand it off. So when you rub your hand on it right now, it's super smooth and it feels great. We did the back or the body and then Do they know that this is your hood. birthday? Oh, I don't think so. Yeah. Happy birthday to me, forgot. This is the hood and when this is all painted black, I'm actually gonna put the Bates House logo right here and it's gonna look adorable. It's gonna say Bates House and then our town name. And then I'm keeping the front plate the way it is because it's black and gold, but the gold is kind of like a brass color. So I'm keeping that. And also filled in everything here, sanded it super smooth. And then tomorrow. So we do, what we do have left is we're gonna bedline the entire roof, canopy, cover. It's ugly. Ugly. So this is gonna get painted all black, bed liner. It should look good. Might spray paint it first, just in case of it chips. And this is my windshield. This is your windshield. And then, oh, we got brand new battery. Oh yeah, all the brand new batteries. So the hubby got a golf cart after all, and he, the batteries were no good in that one. So he took the batteries from that one, and he's gonna get rid of them. And then the ones that were in mine, are gonna go into his and then he got new ones for mine and they look over there all pretty and definitely new. And this is what it's looking like, all beefy with these gorgeous tires. Ooh, ooh let's, let's hold this up. What is that? This is the back, right? Yeah. These bad boys. But... Uh, I think it's backwards, other side, other side of the body. Really? 
yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and do you cut off the excess or are we just gonna paint it and leave it? Depending on the tires? Uh, it goes like that, I think. Okay. And then you'll, I guess you'll cut it off. I mean, yeah, this, this is all custom here. We're doing what we wanna do. <laughs> right. We don't have rules. He was like, hey, <laughs> do you realize we're like customizing this thing? <laughs> Like legit. Like legit. Not just like, you know, no, paint it yeah. and leave it as is. Baby steps. Yeah. No baby steps. It's like we're actually, he's gutted the entire thing down to the frame. All the wiring is out. Everything is like legit, like tore no, down. I think these are the top ones. Oh, okay. And it went from a golf cart from meh and hopefully it's gonna turn out fantastic and so chunky. And I'll be rolling around the neighborhood, picking up my neighbor friends. <laughs> the most badass golf cart. I'm so excited. Happy birthday to me. Thank you. Thank Only you for the best. <laughs> this is just so cool. Like I'm so excited. All right, so I'm gonna leave you guys with that. I don't even know how much content or- And this one runs, it drives and it works. Yes, it does work. I drove it when he brought it the first day. It was um, just, it was just, hadn't been charged and we just got it and it was ugly and, and it needed some work big time. So it was rough, Yeah, this but one, it ran and it was cheap. Yeah. Got a good deal. I'll tell you guys the story of how I realized or how he told me he got it because it was pretty cute and it was, it was pretty cute. And I know my friends are like, Ugh. spoiled brat. <laughs> Call me a spoiled brat. Oh my gosh. Uh, anyway, so I'll tell you guys that I'm sure in the intro, whenever I actually have myself looking decent and actually do an intro for this. So right now I'm not even gonna do an outro. I'm just gonna leave it at that and we'll see you guys in a bit. The hubby actually hung up and prime coated the body. And it's in black. I didn't know there was like black primer paint. <laughs> so, there's that. These aren't gonna be touched until tomorrow though. They're gonna set for today cause it's kind of cool. And then tomorrow we'll do the sanding and prep for painting. Okay, so here goes a look at the underside of the seat. We're gonna remove the existing leather, which is horrible or whatever that is. I think it's like a vinyl. It already has a wood base, but we're gonna redo the wood base. And we're going to rewrap with a gorgeous uh, brown leather, which is this one here. So excited to see how that turns out. Are we just keeping the same frame cut? It's gonna be, this part is gonna be the same frame and then we're gonna do a bigger outer. Same width, maybe just a little bit bigger, but that use the same foam. And then this one, we're gonna do the same base, but we're going to bring the seat in just a little bit, but the seat's going to be shaped more like this, but bigger with the indention in the middle. Because I want exposed wood throughout the cart. So we're going to have the wood on the other side exposed still with the seat kind of sitting on it, leaving a wood lip. So on our actual seat, there will be a, a wood trim exposed. We have to do that. That's also going to be burnt wood. That's pretty. The way they curved it like that. Thank you. Make a sign of it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do the same thing with that. So I'm not even sure exactly what it is that drives my images in my brain, but I knew I needed pieces of exposed burnt wood to flow from the back of the truck to the front i still have to put one strip across the top but y'all these wood prices are no joke right now so that's just gonna have to wait <laughs> but i love the exposed wood look okay so it's the next day we've been out here working on a few things we got the seats wrapped the hubby primed the body we have the seat base burned and stained. 
And then the seat back. Second layer. Second layer. Double layer seats. Yeah, they're double layer seats because the cushion has a piece and then the base is gonna be its own individual piece. Um, did we do anything for this? Put the batteries in. Put the batteries in. Did and that's little, pretty much it. a little bed lining on it in the back. Yeah, we did that yesterday though. That's pretty much it. This took up a lot of time today, a lot of cutting. The hubby came out before me and sprayed the yeah, base hang, coat. Hanging everything. Yeah, hung everything up. As you can see, these are up here. The other one was over there. But it's looking good. I think that's it. That's the only progress for today. It doesn't seem like much as far as on a it's checklist. Pretty much breaking the seats down. Yeah. And figuring out how to make the new seat. So we had to copy the bottom, but then we had to make the top look a little bit different because she wanted some of the wood to show. So we had to kind of create our own idea and style on the seats. Yes. And sand them and round all the edges. And, and my freaking Ryobi could put on me yesterday. So that means I wasn't anywhere near able to detail things how I wanted to, which was very frustrating. Yeah, she had to use my big monster. Yeah, it was. it's a massive thing. Like you're weightlifting the whole time, <laughs> but hey, we get the job done. it got it done. So it so is tomorrow, what it is. So tomorrow is going to be bed lining all the small parts, bed lining the, or building the new canopy braces that hold the canopy up. And bed lining the canopy. Huh? Bed lining the canopy. Bed lining the canopy because we had to we pressure washed that today. I pressure yeah, washed it. He pressure cleaned washed it. it. Um, mounting the seats. Mounting the seats to the to the other side of the seat. Do you want to show? Them? Meanwhile, stain, no, stain. yeah. Meanwhile, painting. Painting the body. The body, and then depending on how quick it dries, we may be starting to put her back together tomorrow. Yes, so excited, and I. Got, and I think it's, I don't think it's a her. I think it's a he. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> but we still got to put on, once we do that, we got to put on mirrors. We got to put on fender flares, lights. So there's still quite a bit left. Yeah. I can't do that oh, stuff though. That's And we got to put on a, a battery indicator. I got to wire that in. Mm -hmm. So most of it's going to be my wiring stuff. Yeah. That I got to get into. Find out where you want it. But it's looking like a beast. It probably end up going right here. And I know he can't wait to start working on his so he can do it however he wants. <laughs> I don't know if mine's gonna get this cinch kit. <laughs> it's a it lot might, of work. It may later. He did order did you order wind up ordering that steering wheel? No, not yet. Okay. That was uh, a cool one. To be sure. Yeah. But that's where we're at. I'm going to leave it at that because I'm hungry and I look like boo-boo. So you're not going to see me. You can see the handsome hubs, the handsome hubby who woke up like that. And I'll check in with you guys another time. Bye. Hey, Get it, boys. Oh yeah, you can see it. Now it's time to get everything prepped for paint. So the body was hung up so that we could sand it and paint it. I took a super fine high grit sanding block and just started to sand. I sanded it until it was smooth to the touch in hopes to make the paint apply evenly because with all the car shows that we watch, black paint apparently is the hardest to get to look even because it shows all the flaws. Then I started painting the top and all of the hardware that is going to be putting the top on and the arm rests and all of that stuff. It's all painted with the bed liner. Bed liner for me, again, is perfect for anything that you're gonna be keeping outdoors. It just works so well. One of my favorite pieces of the golf cart, it has to be the tailgate. It is absolutely adorable. I used a vintage drawer pull to make my handle for the tailgate. 
We put the hinges and the locks on and everything, and it is my absolute most favorite touch of this whole project. After this, we did a lot of wiring, so I don't know much about this process. This is where the hubby kind of takes over, but I am builder assistant in these situations. So what I'm doing is running back and forth between painting all of the hardware that's going to attach the hood or the roof or whatever, and the roof. I'm painting all of that, and then I come over and help him wherever he needs me. The way we get our projects to flow is we embrace each other's strengths. So his would definitely be the electrical and the wiring and all that. So what I do is I provide every single thing in an instant that he needs to complete his process. So he tells me what he's gonna do. I have all of the material. And as he moves from item to item, I provide whatever he needs, whether it's a rivet, a bolt, a this, a that, whatever it is, I grab it and he doesn't have to reach for anything. Now this night was probably the toughest because the temperature dropped extremely low and it was cold and wet. So every single thing that we touched was literally freezing cold. The paint was done, but it took a long time to set and it actually did not set until the following morning when the sun came out. So putting all those rivets in, which was a lot and having to use the drill and kind of be right up against that body was super complicated. We had to make sure we had some cushion that didn't stick or mess with the paint. It was a process y'all like tough. Anyway, we got up the next morning ready to finish off this project and my father-in-law came over and helped us kind of tie up some loose ends and get everything rolling and we all jumped on the cart and went for a ride. It was so awesome. So that is pretty much it and how we came up with our easy go refurbished cart into farm truck. This baby knew what it wanted to be and at the end of all of it, it told me that it isn't a he or a she, it is actually a couple. So it is a husband and wife farm crew cart. I absolutely love this. That is pretty much it guys for this vlog. I do hope that you enjoyed and if you are getting your own cart soon, I hope you got some fun ideas. I will in time try to go in and link some items in the description bar if you want to check those out. They will be affiliate links so that will help the channel a little bit. If you did enjoy, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite part of this project was. Share this video to anyone that you know is trying to consider a project like this. It also helps our channel grow. It's a free way to support the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell on your way out to be notified of new videos whenever I post. You can follow me on my social medias on Instagram at the Bates House, hashtag Bates House, pretty much anything, and we will be there. For now, guys, that's it for this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!